We're in Purley, I'm doing a jobby for Raw, for Robbie. Steels are in, it's our first day. We're gonna start setting out all the steels. We're double checking them, make sure they're all happy. Start setting out the roof. This is what we've got to achieve. Check this out for a roof. What an absolute beauty. Nice size roof, good sink to get stuck into. Here we go, first day. First thing we're gonna do, I'm sure these steels are set out correctly, but for my peace of mind, put a line through, make sure they're in line, make sure they're level. Gonna find the center point of the steel, measure down, work it to the plates to see what we're positioned. If it's right, brilliant, if it ain't, we can play around a bit on our pole plates, but at least we understand where we're going, in what direction. Ping all the lines through, check it out, it's so important. And we start setting this out, breaking it down bit by bit. Setting out the joists, 400 centers. What I do is, first joist is 50 mil away from the wall. And what I'll do is, from that wall back, so the flooring works out, 410 center. So you've got 10 mil for expansion, and 400 hits on the joist, 400s all the way. And when you can't steal, you're governed because you've got the leaf of the hanger to go in. So what I would do is, I will measure from this one to the next one 800 and then carry on so it works well with the flooring. Rafters, the old fashioned way where they sit on top of the ridge. In this case, steel ridge. So how we do it is really simple. As we get the top right, we know the pitch, we sit it on, I put a level on the side and a clamp uh, to the pitch of the rafter, so my roofing square, and I lift it up and down until it's level. Now I can either go into the side of a joist we're fixing or use the timber as a rod to hold it in place. But either way, I get that to the exact pitch, check the top I'm happy, and then with the bottom, I've got two 6 by 2s that I'm going to use for the plate, and I just push that in, draw around it. I'll do a tiny little marker top and bottom, then I use the roof square to get the plumb and the seat cut. Check both ends. If I'm happy with it, I go with it. Another good thing to take in consideration is, even though the steels are in line, end, middle, and the other end, some of the steels have got a slight little twist. So I cut the plate at the top slightly bigger, and we just put a line down that, so we could allow for that, take that out nice and straight, and works really well. Bird's mouth. I always used to do it width-wise, and I'd be scratching my head how to do it. Or I'd have a plumb cut, and I'd be trying to divide it up by three to get my one third. Hand cut roost, done a video, brilliant. Hold it on, adjust it to hit 300. Mark your 200. Yes, it's two thirds down for your depth. And it's your one third up. Brilliant little work tip, love that one. What we do is just brace these rafters out. I put a timber underneath the rafters tight and I draw backs of the four by two, either side of the rafter. And when I fix that up, that pull all the rafters nicely in line, takes out any differences in the timber. Also, if it holds it parallel, it works really nice for your plasterboard lines and all the set of text insulation that you're going to cut in between. And also, when I do my timber walls, the ash of the walls, I do the same thing, mark it at the bottom, then all the same, and all the studs underneath the rafters. Timber walls. Now, let's just say you need a metre wall. By the time your wall's in and you follow that plasterboard line up and it goes up, it's not always a metre, a lot bigger. So what I do is, is get timber to the size that I need. I'll lever that and I'll hold the timber, which is going to be the stud. Just run it up the back to suit. Now how high do I know where to put that? I will draw a line, a piece of timber, and then when that's in, just slide it up into its suits. And how am I working this? Am I having one plate at the bottom, two at the top? But either way, I put the timbers at the bottom, measure off that, and then my studs works out well. Big rafters on here. So what we've done is we've used up all the offcuts. I love using up the offcuts. So I put six by twos through, try and stiffen them nine by two rafters up. And we've left a gap, just in case there needs to be an airflow. And this piece of timber is off the backing board. <clears throat> I love the backing board because it keeps it nice and straight, takes the whip out of the fascia, good fixing points. And this is what we do with the offcut from the backing board. Stud walls are in, and this is what we do with the offcut from the backing board. Place that in, follow the line of the stud wall up, 
and that'll work nicely for a fixing point for the top of the blast board.